Hi guys. Um, so my last video or a couple videos ago, I've been doing so many. Um, I did was on um, breaking habits or changing habits, and one of the things that I have started to do um, is just just do things differently. Um, so. And little things, not huge things. Life, this is what I've just recently learned, is life is not about the big, huge changes. It's actually about the little things first. So to make changes, you can watch my video on um, uh, not following routine. But here, like one of the things that I've started doing is I started sleeping in the spare room that we have. So instead of going up to my master bedroom, I simply sleep in the spare room. And the coolest thing happened last night so, and what I noticed was, because I'm practicing presence, I'm sleeping in my spare room, I wake up in the morning, and it's got this, like, sliding door, sliding, it's it's just a window, that whole wall, and I look out, and that room has an amazing view. I can see all trees, I saw an eagle flying first thing in the morning when I woke up, and I'm like, what the heck have I been sleeping up in the master bedroom for for so long? It was totally cool. And last night, I was woken up by this like really bright light because I keep my window, I keep the blinds open. I just like to do that. And um, when I woke up, I realized the bright light was the moon. And the moon was just shining right on me and it was just the best feeling. I was able to just lay there and pray um, to the moon. Uh, the moon, I feel the moon is like goddess, the sun is god, so um, praying, it's, it's a really nice female energy that you can get from the moon and I just kind of soaked it in and it was so beautiful and it was just by making a little change and telling myself I'm gonna do these little things, break habits, break routines. Just had to share that. All right, now, I was out for dinner last night, and uh, we started um, a friend, with a friend of mine, and we started having a conversation about uh, about dating and um, how opposites attract. And I kind of had to stop the conversation and just be like, ah, uh, you know what? I don't think that happens. There is no way. There is no way. If you've, everybody's watched the movie, uh, The Secret, that's the basic, basic teachings of the law of attraction, right? So even in The Secret, it says, like attracts like, visualize, feel, attract. So it is not possible that the universe would send you some somebody that is opposite to what you want. That's, that, that just doesn't happen. So opposites attracting is actually made up by, it's a it, society, societal, I, I believe it's societal unconsciousness. So here's the thing. Um, we, we say opposites attract because Okay, let's leave that. So what, I'm gonna go into what is really happening. So if you attract, I'm gonna give you an example. So if you attract a super angry person um, into your life, you have a relationship, everything is fine for the first, obviously, three months, four months, whatever, the honeymoon period is um, starts is over now, and you start to see that this person is actually really angry. Okay, how, you might be like, I'm not angry. Look at me. I am. I have this great personality. I do not get angry and I live my life a certain way. Now, do not forget that we all wear masks. So, somewhere inside of you, you have deep rooted anger. Now, this anger could start from childhood. Let's say. Um, your parents didn't allow you to express anger when you were a child um, in one form or another or another. So every time you became angry, you suppressed it. And because you're female, uh, the expectation was that you smile and you listen and you just abide by and suppress your own feelings, but your exterior is showing something um, completely opposite of how you feel. So you might be smiling or trying to be respectful, 
but yet you've got all this anger. So what happens over the years is this anger will layer and layer and layer and layer if you don't deal with it. And that is a projection of what you now have in or have attracted to you and is now has now become a relationship. So do you see how opposites, in fact, don't attract? You actually have that, that uh, quality within you. So you attracted that person because the subconscious will only feel and then attract until you become conscious and change that negativity within you. Once that negativity is switched, then you will, and you deal with the anger, then you will attract that relationship that your mind um, at a, even if it's not a conscious level, but this is, this is what romance looks to you, this is what happiness looks to you. When you are able to deal with those deep-rooted uh, feelings, you can start attracting that love that you're actually looking for. So in fact, opposites do not attract. You've attracted that person into your life. Because that, and that is why relationships are mirrors. And this is why it is so important to learn and from each and every relationship. So when you marry somebody, when you come into a union some, with somebody, you're basically coming into a union with your, with your opposite self and you are promising yourself to that person in a sense, but also that you are going to now together work with that person on cleansing and healing your inner self and loving your inner self. That's the secret to a long-term relationship. Like, I mean, I mean, but when I say long-term, I mean from the day you get married to the day you die. When you constantly have this self-work and this abundance of love, you have to do it together. That's what marrying is. Anyways, it's over seven minutes. I just wanted to um, say that. Okay. Love you guys.